Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, buddy? Yeah. All right, cool. I have a weird, weird accent in my voice. I don't know why. I've shown you guys this shirt. I, I love no, it. No, no, no. You showed me Batman shirt before. Um, yeah, I, I really like this shirt. I like the new Batman. I, I like the current Batman logo. It, was that, isn't it a little bigger, the current Batman logo? Because I saw it in the... Um... Depends on the artist. The thing about uh, Scott Snyder's run on Batman is that, like, the art was always consistent. Just to, to clarify, like, he is not Zack Snyder's brother, cousin, or anything really. Yeah, the, no it's, relation. That's weird. It's, like, really weird. Like, there's two Snyders working, well, worked on DC. Yeah. Um, the thing is about Scott Snyder's run on Batman, it was always Snyder and Capullo. Capullo was the artist. Those two were a team. But the current run of Batman, Tom King, that art style has changed... Like, five or six different times. Well, it depends, I think it depends on the story and what type they want to... Yeah, I... I liked some of the art styles. I didn't like some of the other ones. You know, I'm, I'm not too big of a fan of Tom King's current run on Batman, but, like, I understand it's very casual, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Batman series. So, like, yeah. Mm. Well, like I said before, comics, I will all, uh, let's see how Man of Steel does after, well, should be done after I, this episode post, but we'll see. Yeah, Man of Steel is the... The current big thing. Yeah. Basically, uh... It's like a Superman story, six-issue miniseries. And it's going, to, it's going to lead in, like, the next, um, Superman six. story arcs. In two fucking series, which that's more money for me to buy in case I do get invested. I mean, are you gonna pick one or are you just gonna follow both? Cause, cause that's. I, don't know. that's the I think you should just pick one. Mm, I don't know. Really. Unless like they're heavily involved with each other. But that makes no sense. So it's the same character, but it's two different stories. What's sad is that that actually has happened before. That makes no sense. It, it it's it's annoying. They're trying I to don't make really... more, They're trying to make more money. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't really follow Superman. But sadly, Brian Michael Bennett chose that character, so we get the choice. Yeah. I I'm what I'm currently following is um, Sideways. It's a new DC series. I'm... It's a side project. It's not, a, it's not the big thing. It's like, yeah. It's, 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 it's a fun side thing. We're paying so only, much. only three bucks per issue, and, you know, it's a monthly series. It's simple. It's fun. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Well, I'll, get, I'll get there when I get there. Yeah. Oh, oh, God! Shit. There is no survival there. Dude's on aimbot hacks. I forgot about aim. I mean, I don't understand aimbot. That's I like, don't think that's used anymore. That was, no, that no. was a thing when I was Same, a young Because whenever I was with Tyler playing Halo, and every time he loses, there would he always, always say, be somebody that's yeah, he, hacking. Oh, he would always say, like, oh, he was using aimbot. Oh, they, or maybe he got lucky and he's better than you, and he's like, no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Okay, uh, I believe with you. And I, 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 I wasn't, like, you know, very confident to say my piece. I'm like, okay. I boy. just realized I never recorded with Tyler before. One day you will. One day. One day. You know what's really... What's really disappointing about this area? It is so hot. Yeah. And we are recording this in the summertime. Thankfully, yeah. it's not that hot today as we're recording. It's not. It's cold. Mm -hmm. It's a cold night. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice night. <laughs> And like a uh, funny thing, my girlfriend just texted me. I I was literally about to to talk about uh, that relationships, summer versus winter. Um, both have pros and cons. Cause like, um, it like just depends on the girlfriend. Yeah, the thing about the summer is that you two can go on nice walks for a very long Picnics. time. Picnics, all that crap. Do outdoor stuff that you probably don't want to do, yeah. but you can. Do not bomb it! Thank you. Yeah, okay. Um, but the thing about the the thing about the winter is you're not sweaty, you're not You get it, to you get to snuggle nice more because cool. you get to snuggle. For for one I mean it just depends on the on the time of year. And other things. No no duh, George. <laughs> Our audience mostly understands sex. Yeah. <laughs> And you and you have personal experience because you you have. Do you know the age range of your viewers, actually, Joseph? <sighs> I should check analytics, but no. Mm. Ready, aim. That should be the name of a movie. Ready, fire. And it probably it, there is probably a movie out there. 
Like no, I, just I think it. you gotta aim it into the skull so you can kill all of those dudes. Like the horrible person you are. Yeah, the horrible Yeah, Link, I'm talking to you! <laughs> Ready! Fia! Ready, aim! Yeah, there you go. We just blew You just killed a bunch of people. Who cares? <laughs> when in doubt, kill things. This is not the mentality in all video games. That is the mentality in all video games. I, I don't know. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I got that quote from Game Grumps, and that is possibly one of my favorite Game Grumps quotes. Oh, I keep forgetting we just, don't have to, Just because, like, <laughs> he said that with such confidence. Not when in doubt, kill everything. Isn't that, yeah, isn't that everything in all movies, video games, like, you gotta kill everyone to survive? Yeah, not in all movies, because a movie can be about a bunch of things, but... Yeah, no. Uh, video game has... Video games have led into more, uh, common tropes. We just blew that thing up yeah. the sky high. Hey, little... treasure chest. Yeah, I saw. Let's go. Yeah, man, so, like, what do you think you would prefer if you were in a relationship? Yeah, but it's become public knowledge. I am currently not in a relationship at the time this video is posting. No, at this video is recording. We have no idea. I have no idea what. But, uh... Given a man in my current waist size, I would prefer winter. I don't blame you. If I lose a little bit more weight, I'll be down with either season. Yeah. Sex would just probably be an ugly mess in the summer. It is. <laughs> well, here's the thing, George. I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not gonna go in detail when it comes to that. Like, but like. But is it isn't isn't is isn't your room's AC condition? So wouldn't that not be a problem? My AC is really loud. So like. Is this not like, a good thing? For your room? That's the thing. Let's say somebody's walk is like walking towards There's my only room. Like three I people. can I can hear them if the AC is not on. But if the AC is on, then anybody could walk in at any moment, and like I wouldn't notice. <laughs> so um, I don't really want to take the risk. Oh well. Okay, fine. I end up doing that activity a bit more in the winter. Is what I'm saying. I'll I'll try to talk about the uh the the activity with with class. I'll send your I don't even girl, know what I'll the fuck your, I'm doing here. I'll send your girlfriend this video when this posts. Okay. I don't think she gives too much of a shit, considering I haven't even said her name. Because you're not comfortable with saying her name on camera. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with saying anybody's name on camera, really. Without permission. This is my comment. I I talked to this on Sal on his episode. Even on. with permission, I'm still like, eh. Actually, here's I kind of want to keep here's, private no, life, but here's the public rule. life separate. But here's the rule set. If I talked about this um, with Sal on the on his episode of the Pod X Cast, we talked about how certain people like t depend on their um. That them want to be talked on the internet. If they already have like some sort of YouTube presence or they made a YouTube video, their privability has been thrown out the window. Exactly. I mean, the people. Unless it's like a super embarrassing story, you know? You could just. Uh... Oh well, fuck. <laughs> Yunbo. Yunobo. Yunobo. Unibrow. Unibrow. He doesn't have a Unibrow. He has like some bad. You have officially earned a nickname. He has some sort of like weird anime hairstyle, and I'm just gonna take a shit. Yeah. What's in this shit? What's in this chest? We got purple root. Hey. Getting that money, money, money. I can't sing for shit. Money, 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 money. Okay, we, we were stole your shit. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> okay, Joseph. Man. We still got an episode to do. Looking for Yono. Unobo. 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 Like, huh? Question, if you ever, like, if you had to dye your hair, what color are you going with? Red or white? No, no, wait, not white. Oh, fuck. I fucking slipped myself into the glass panic. Oh, God. <laughs> Red or white? Whichever one. Any other color would just be disgusting. Okay. I don't see the point in, like, white hair or, like, gray hair because, like, you're gonna have It's gonna time. turn that color one day. So just, <laughs> so just wait. Yeah, but the certain way. You know, I, I don't think it's attractive either, just because, like, that's immediately where my mind goes to. You know, old people, when they see that hair color. Yeah, I prefer red, if anything. Yeah, it, uh, for me, I actually do want to co to dye my hair don't. blue one day. Nah, you're gonna just gonna Not be, for too long. You're gonna, but... be, you're gonna be classified as a crazy fool. Hey, man. Comic historian. <laughs> People were legit, like, scared of him 
uh, before <laughs> before he got his hair dyed, and like now people find him to be way more friendly after he dyed his hair. Like he's a he's a friendly person, is what he's saying. But like uh, his like his body type, he's a fucking huge dude. Like you know, mus muscles and Mus shit and tall and the, he he looks like kind of scary in real life, but you know with the colored hair he looks a bit more friendly unless people are like not as afraid of him. Mm, you got a point. So yeah, that would go over red. Yeah, I actually do want to do it blue, but like not permanently. Blue. Yeah. Fuck. Blue is a fun color. Blue is where I am right now. Dying isn't fun though. Don't do that, kids. Dying is bad for you. Die when it's time. Not, don't <laughs> die when you think it's time. Die when it's time. Yeah. We literally had a two seasons of a pretty weird TV show all about that. Wait, what? 13 Reasons Why You Son of a Bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you legit made a... Never, I can't even make jokes. Like, I can't even... I was gonna say a joke. I'm not interested in, in the book or show, so... Well, your girlfriend's interested in the book. Yeah, no, my girlfriend really liked the book. I no. even bought it for her as no, a gift, no. and... Never saw the show. Uh, no, she saw the show. She liked the first season, and she she said the second season was good, but not as good as the first. That's the comic is in. Like, season two was not as good as season one. Yeah, just because was, they had nothing to base no, it on. There was no point. Like, they had, there was a reason it was 13. It fit Netflix's style perfectly. Yeah. But then when season two came, I'm like, well, well what are we going to do? And so yeah. now, now for season three, it's like, well, you wrapped up the Hannah, the Hannah story. What's next? Do we really care about these people's lives after? Because Hannah was the main focus. With her gone, it's like, you know, well, what's the point? The thing that my girlfriend said, which I do find to be interesting, is that um, she she likes the book. She likes the first season. The first season adapted the book. And so she doesn't give a shit what they do afterwards because she's satisfied with what came out. You know? What? Oh, fuck you too! I just imagine she's like one of those people that consider season two to be fanfic. <laughs> like it's not real. Yeah, man. Yeah, like honestly, I kind of feel that way about a couple of things. I'm not surprised what ones you're gonna say. Star Wars. Isn't everything Star Wars post, post George Lucas just fanfic? Yep. <laughs> uh, then what about the MCU? So anything that's not John Favreau is fanfic. No, 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 no. Like I, all of those movies are fanfic. John Favreau is a fan of Iron Man. That's why he made the movie. But like, oh, what's her reward? Uh, really, really? I have the armor. You could have just given me money. <laughs> oh no, wait. We can sell them. So he did give us money in a sense. The Ruko. That's not how you pronounce it. I just like saying the Ruko. Yeah. Um. That looks infin that look that looks unfinished. Kinda does. Hi. <laughs> it's time. You know my idea of what I said? I think I said this in an early episode about the mech, about these um, divine beasts. Hmm. What if they form one giant mech? That would, would be really <laughs> stupid, but really cool. It would make sense for this game. Like, Ganon yeah, becomes like Ultimate Ganon, he becomes like giant. Link has to assemble the four divine beasts. Well. And it's kind of a consequence, like, if you don't get the divine beasts, you just get fucked over by Ganon. Do you think the story is simple in this game? Kind of is. It kind of is, to be honest. Straightforward, do divine I, I actually like it, though. Like, it's so weird. It's so simple, but I think it works. Mm -hmm. Strangely enough. I still want to do the Legend of Zelda film series. Five parts. I think it could work as, like, a Netflix <coughs> exclusive. Nah. They got, they got that. They got hey, Witcher already. Right Congrats on becoming what? Witcher's doing a Netflix show. Really? really yeah. Oh, shit. My friend is, would be really excited in that case. <laughs> I have a friend who loves Witcher. It's the same one who likes uh, Neo. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't be surprised if I don't introduce Ganondorf to, like, the fourth movie, right? <laughs> now he's just all new original villain for the first three. Link doesn't have the map. There are a fair amount of villains in the Zelda franchise already. Yeah, that's what makes sense. Yeah. I like the villain in Four Swords. He was nutty. Kind of fun. Uh. 
Link like, should have formed the Avengers by this time period. <laughs> but too bad they already all failed. What was I saying? Um. But yeah, I. It's a little strange. As far as I know, so like, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. Yeah, the thing about Star Wars that I was going to say, I really like the original trilogy. When you say Star Wars, Star Wars is the original trilogy, in my mind. Everything else after, that's made after that, some of it's good. I fucking love the Clone Wars. That shit was amazing. Um, I like some of the comics, you know, like, I'm saying the everything after the original trilogy, some of it's really cool. But it's not, it's not scripture. It's not like, um, it's not like as important as the original trilogy is to me. You know? <laughs> it's like one of the biggest influences of my life. And, uh, you know. I, yeah, I think Star Wars things in the future should be made with that intention. Like, do you think that they're being made with that intention, or no? I really don't know anymore. Like, after fucking The Last Jedi and then Solo, it's just like, they haven't, it hasn't been rolling their way. Yeah. Like, Force Awakens, you know, Rogue One, that was all, what a great trajectory, then Last Jedi kind of screwed it over, and then Solo was like, eh. Yeah. Solo's gonna pop, sadly. I watched a video about, like, the current state of Star Wars. Uh, it was oh, yeah. the one by Jeremy Johns. I showed it to Joseph earlier today. I really liked it because I agree with everything in it. It's exactly how I feel. We'll just see how Star Wars. I think Star Wars just needs to take a break after. Now it needs the right break. Oh yeah, they gotta take a break. Um, I, you know, I still think doing the comics, making a TV show, would be perfectly fine. I would love to see well, what Star extreme. Wars Underground is like. No, they, they, I think they're showing up for a new project. Really? Well, Disney's new. Oh, show that's is lame. Yeah, they're gonna have a new. They're gonna have a new show. It's lame. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, the Healing Springs. For those of you who don't know what Star Wars Underground is, um, hey. it was something made by George Lucas initially, and um, he wrote like scripts for like what thirty episodes. I think it was sixty episodes. Yeah. Uh, he it, was ready like, to do the show. He, just he was ready to make the show, but like something happened. No, no. The reason was because um, he said it wasn't the right time for it. Plus, he wanted to wait till special effects were cheap enough to do it like on a weekly, on like a. I don't know if he was planning to do it on cable or something. I think it was cable because this was before Netflix was a big thing. Yeah. So the the idea was how do we you know make it more feasible for a television budget, which is. Neat. Not that huge, if you think about it. It really isn't. Like, the, it, even that, the big shows... That, that is movies. always the debate with TV versus uh, movies. movies, you know, like... You get more cut screen time, but you don't get enough money. Yeah, TV moves at the pace that you want it to. And that's what's great about it, but honestly, the uh, movies are just... They just have a better budget. <laughs> Yeah, so... Like, you can tell a bigger story if you're doing a movie, if you're doing a film, you know? Mm -hmm. But you can tell a longer story with television. Oh, sure. I kind of prefer film, though, to be honest. I like you. Didn't we have a podcast episode about that? Or yeah, I think, yeah, it went up already. I don't know. Yeah, we talked about movies and TV in 2018. Yeah. Uh, can we make it in time? We can make it in time. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, like, I, oh, I would wait. love to see Star Wars things in the future, but I think we gotta, like... Take a little break. Take a little break, film-wise, you know? George just st still does not agree with my, my grand plan for what episode that should be. Because it's stupid. It could still happen. Actually, if you ever see Solo, there's certain aspects that you might call stupid. Are you, are you actually gonna see Solo or not? I kinda want to. It's a fun movie. It's really yeah, fun. no, no, no. I, I actually want to check it out because you know Star Wars. Um, I don't care that badly though. Whoa! We gotta time stop this, right? I think. Uh, I think we. Yeah, no paraglide. There you go. Oh wait. Can I time this? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm not close enough yet. Oh, I see. Yeah, just for a brief second, you saw? Yeah, yeah, I see. Too bad, I think we'll be ready. Damn, okay. Yeah, we can do this. Let's get down to business. There we go. Yeah. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, right, George? There's probably a chest here somewhere, but who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. We can wrap it up. We can wrap this up with a nice bow tie. You know what I'm saying, George? You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, we can. Give me that. And with that being said, see you guys later. <laughs>